sub tubes, I'm gravy fries. This is actually a video I promised my friend a while ago. Sorry about that. I'm gonna be focusing on Howard and Randy's friendship. Um, we're gonna be discussing the issues between basically the stuff they've done to each other and in general, are they really good friends? Now, obviously, I agree that they are because, um, as my friend says in something I'm going to be reading to you in a few minutes, um, they're 14. They don't really know what- they, I mean, they're kids. Kids are going to make some, like, really messed up decisions. Especially when you add in fictional plots. <laughs> I mean, people- kids already mess up all the time with normal life, much less if all this magical stuff was involved. So you can't really expect a lot of the stuff they do to be- the mature, rational decision at the time. A lot of kids follow what they feel, their emotions, and naturally, Howard feels like he's being replaced, or more importantly, he feels like he just doesn't matter to Randy as much anymore because ninja duty and all that stuff. That's not true, it's just obviously that's the first thing he went to. Of course, as my friend says, they're flawed. And uh, we're gonna be discussing that a little more deeper, but I'm going to read off what my friend said first. To be honest, I just think Howard doesn't have the self-awareness to realize his actions are bad like Randy does. Like he's loyal as cheese to Randy despite being a jerk. When he helps Randy out during ninja stuff, he's doing it because Randy's his friend, not because he's the ninja. Like in True Oblivion, he gave that little speech at the end because Randy's his friend and he wanted to cheer him up, but he didn't help fend off Matt Dampy's ninjas in ninja camp because, well, Randy's a ninja. Maybe he's only a jerk with Randy, like blaming him for his actions and stuff because he knows Randy can handle it? I don't think he'd do that stuff if Randy couldn't handle it. And it's not like Randy hasn't also been a jerk to Howard. Operation BBD, New Kid on the Block, 30 Seconds to Math, True Romance. Dude's just as capable of being a jerk too. I think Randy and Howard's relationship, Howard is a character that is definitely flawed and I don't think so much so to call it toxic. It's like definitely wrong for Howard to expect so much of Randy, but to blame it all on him isn't very right. They're 14. They don't know crap. I think Howard does know when he takes crap too far. Like Shublivian, he, he did try to stop the Shub chant and asked Randy if he was okay, albeit it was a weak attempt. And I agree with that it was. The show didn't really give Howard enough time to develop as a character since it was so focused on Randy. If the show wasn't so focused on Randy and had more time to develop itself, I think Howard would have, at the very least, realized that maybe some of the crap he did wasn't okay. Now, I heavily agree with this. The show, you know, it could pay to focus on a few other characters. That I do think they should have tried a little bit, but... Howard as a character I don't think is going to change much. I think it's more of he'd just feel more guilty for the actions that he's done. Not that Randy's an innocent angel. <laughs> Let me be clear. I love Randy with all my heart, but in season two, he really did some things that honestly showed you the more rougher side of being a teenager that doesn't think about what they're doing. Randy is still a kid with all this responsibility put on him. So naturally, his mistakes are going to be much more, how you say, domino effect than it would normally be because there's more relying on him. And with Howard being so close to Randy and basically being like one person, it makes sense that the stuff with him would also be very colossal if problems showed up. Going into the actual actions they had for those who may not, you know, be obsessed with the show, like me. <laughs> um, the gist of it is, we'll go into Randy's first because I remember those very, very clearly. Um, in Ninja Fan, him and Howard got in an argument because Howard basically used Randy as like, like a bank, essentially, and he had him do everything for him. I know you can do better. Shit into this, shit into that, and naturally, it was more of just Randy genuinely took it. But at this point he got fed up with it and, you know, he found out he had a ninja fan that really liked him and would do stuff for him and he started to gain Howard's behavior and became just as bad as Howard, maybe even worse. I really hate that scene with the ninja guy. I, I actually only watched that about ten times. I can't watch it any more than that. But the gist of it is it's showing you full well both of them aren't particularly the most healthy when it comes to that kind of situation. Both of them can go way too far if given too much leeway when someone's trying to help them. They need something to pull them back. And it's not even just with that in general. I do think if somebody was rougher than Howard, they could probably get him to act as Randy does. There's even a thing, this is just a theory, I'm not saying any of this is confirmed, but in uh, the Ninja Identity and Supremacy, when he got mind wiped, Randy was much more gullible and actually kind of more soft spoken. So honestly, I truly believe that maybe it was Howard that got Randy to be, how do you say, louder? Or, you know, it could have just been some kind of side effect from the mind wipe. Really, it's up to you because, like I said, none of this is really confirmed. But obviously, that's telling you right off the bat that at least a, a little margin of Randy's bad attitude came from Howard. Because, I mean, 
like, yeah, there's hyperactivity and then there's just genuinely having a bad attitude. And again, not to just bash Rainy. You know I love Rainy with all my heart. Um, basically, Howard is a pretty obvious thing. Like with the sh Like in McNinja brought to you by McFist, where Howard pushed Randy and made him into pretty much a greedy superstar because he sold the ninja. And I get Randy also wasn't great in that episode, but you gotta think, Randy's first decision was- Uh, it didn't seem very ninja-ish. So, Howard really was the one that pushed him to go further and do it anyway. That's still on Howard. But, it obviously shows you Howard definitely went too far. Now, that one I agree is a great example, but I think the best example would be to smell it back. Like, they didn't even actually show Howard was in the wrong for- they just basically said, you know, Randy was taking things too seriously. And that- I don't really agree with the whole situation. Like, I understand Randy did, you know, get way too embarrassed about the fart thing, because as someone who's way too, you know, no filter in her life, some of that stuff I really don't think should be taken that seriously. Even with your professional life, to me it's just kind of nonsense, but honest to God, like, they were making fun of him, they were laughing at him, and the ninja is a very important thing to him, so you think they'd take it a little more, you know, how would we realize how much that would really hurt Randy, because, like, it meant something to him that really hurt him, but of course it's, you babysit this baby for a while. And to me that was a really great example of the toxicity in their friendship. They're not toxic, it's just the behavior of him in the episode, I would say, was slightly toxic. Uh, do I think they're a flawed friendship? Absolutely. Do I think they're a bad friendship? No, not at all. Because like I said, kids, they mess up, even my friend said it, they mess up. Uh, they put it best when they said that, that they're 14, they don't know crap. Because like, when you're, when you're a kid, you mess up, even with the people you, you love. And I've already went into depth about, you know, you make mistakes when you're a kid, much less with people you care about. You do things, you yell at each other, you insult each other, maybe you even do things that when you think back to it, you're like, how, how do they still talk to me? But in the end, you're still friends. Uh, it happened to me, I'm sure it happened to a bunch of other people, and I think that's basically what's going on here. There's supposed to be a realer version of how friendships actually go. It doesn't matter how close Randy and Howard are, there's gonna be problems between them, because they're supposed to be like real-life teenage boys. And when you get two boys together, the intelligence drains out the ears. And what do you do when one of the boys doesn't have any intelligence at all? Oh, it gets much worse. <laughs> That's basically saying they're not really toxic, they're just human. The relationship between Randy and Howard is very human. They mess up like humans, they do things they regret like humans, but in the end, they always help each other because they truly care about each other, like humans. And I'm positive if they did have some kind of idea to have them as adults, they'd probably look back on this stuff and laugh and maybe regret a few things. But in the end, that's just what makes them more human. So overall, is the friendship toxic? I don't think so. Is their behavior toxic from sometimes? Yes, absolutely. Randy acting that way in Ninja Fan that in general. Randy using Howard, which god I didn't even get into the topic of walking for the weekend where he basically used Howard to get out of a Saturday school. Like that was awful on his end. But when it really came down to Howard actually being in trouble, Randy saved him, albeit he mentioned he'd do it again. Man, that whole episode was not great. But, but the point is, they both did some pretty bad things, but in the end, if their friend was really in danger, they would save them, and they really do genuinely care about them. We've seen that. So, the behavior is extremely toxic. Is it how every teenage boy acts when he has a friend? Absolutely. The friendship between them is very good, especially if they're able to ignore those awful traits from each other. But I do think that if the show continues, they really should have some slight development, or at least have some kind of thing to show you Hey, you know, maybe they won't be as much of, as dicks to each other from now on. But that's just, you know, my, my piece on it. And you heard my friend. Uh, they had a pretty good, you know, interpretation of it as well. Uh, I can't say their name to save my life. But uh, Kogi Torgosum. Uh, they changed their name a couple of times. But uh, they're on Tumblr. They're awesome. They do a lot of great takes on there. Uh, that's basically the gist of the video. I'm sorry if this seems kind of short, but thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, would love to hear your opinions on the whole thing in the, in the comments section, and I'll see you shoobs later.